The Edo State Commissioner of Communication and Orientation, Chris Nehihari, on Sunday confirmed that 31 intending passengers were kidnapped at the Igwebe train station in Edo State on Saturday. The passengers were said to be waiting for a 4 p.m. train from Igwebe to Wari when the kidnappers struck, shooting sporadically, abducting passengers and leaving many injured. Mr. Nehihari told journalists in Benin that one adopted passenger escaped from the kidnappers while the police had arrested one of the suspects. Describing the incident as the most difficult in the state, the commissioner said the kidnappers who came with cars took victims to the bush on foot. The police, in collaboration with the vigilante and hunters, started combing the bush almost immediately. One suspect has been arrested and he is helping the police in their investigation. The Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu visited scene. Visited the scene of the crime this morning to have an on the spot assessment of what has happened, Mr. Nehari said. The Nigeria Railway Corporation NRC earlier announced the shutdown of operations at the station. Meanwhile, Mr. Nehari also described disclosed that the state government was up to date with the pension payments to retired workers and was currently expending one third of its personnel, personnel costs on the pension payments. We make available 100 million naira monthly to pay gratuity to those retirees with serious medical challenges. We paid over 1 billion naira last year and we have also budgeted another 1 billion naira for 2023. We are constrained to believe that the Protests in the past over pensions were politically instigated, he said. Okay, that is the second part of the this story. The first part of the story is, uh, you know, when we first talked about the kidnapping that took place, according to police, confirmed that it was the Fulani s men that did the kidnapping, but they could not tell us the figures. But they said some people were wounded, some people were kidnapped, but they couldn't get the numbers. Now the government is coming out to tell us that they are 31 in numbers. 31 in numbers. And the police and the vigilantes, they started combing the forest or the bushes immediately. I hope uh, these people will be found. Nigeria has happened to them all. <laughs> it's become a normal thing. It's become a normal thing. As train station, when we talk about uh, development, development, even the little one that they are trying to bring, even if it is not even up to standard, we cannot even enjoy it in peace. Not that they were on the road, though. People will say, oh, you have to be careful when you are traveling because of this uh, kidnapping of a thing, because now it's become a lucrative uh, occupation. The S men are doing their own ordinary people, the ordinary criminals who have been on ground now, seeing the, the old trend that uh, is now becoming... One of the lucrative things you can do in this country and nothing will happen. And even the ones that are not a full anis, they will say they are full anis. But the bottom line is that things have have degenerated to what it is now because for those who are the aim of affairs are not doing enough. They are not doing enough for, according to how they cried. When Tinubu said Buari cried 30 times on national TV. Now, that cry has not even... It has not equated to good governance. Just that he wanted that position, that is just what it is. All I see Buari doing is just to, you know, just to fulfill all righteousness. You know, uh, I was once a president, a military president, and now a democratic president. That is just it. And it is always sweet in their mouth. A, 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 a democratically elected president. Some people want to unseat him. It's not going to happen. That is all what they know. Because this thing of it, you know, even the same Buari told us around October, October, September, October, that by December, that the issue of uh, insecurity will be a thing of the past. We know that on our watch, we are in January, it's still continuing. Who would have thought that after the incidents that happened in Abuja, Kaduna, Abuja, Kaduna uh, train station, what happened there, that it will still happen again? Nobody would have thought, but it's happening. It is now a normal thing now. 31 people, I know that uh, the families of those people, uh, they have a better story to tell you. Like I said before, Nigeria has happened to them. 
Okay, the next thing they will do is to go and save them. That game won't end well for them. Hate for a tribe in general by blaming them for every dirty thing others do won't even bring any light. That is audacious acts. Well, now, how did these people get inside the terminal? Is it that our military men have left their duty post to now collecting money from passengers at the counters or what? Where the passenger as well. I don't know, be undo. They should be ready to face the music. This is too bad. What on earth people will bring in foreigners to key citizens? Visa on arrival was one of the ways headers and killers took advantage of coming into Nigeria. They are enjoying their one Nigeria. Vote Sinumbu or Asiku. You will see more of that. Unknown government. Hmm. Call it unknown government. <laughs> when police has told you that they are hessmen. They are S men. They are full of S men. At your brothers do the job. Your brothers have done the job. Guy man, continue covering them up. That is what the terrorists are called. Peter is better. Who is Peter? Who is Peter? So, our prayer is that the ladies people will be rescued in peace. We don't want to hear stories. But the problem is not even rescuing them. But the issue is that how this kind of a thing will not reoccur but it will occur it will even more than this so everybody oh yourself oh, you just have to be how careful can one be if, if we tell people you have to be careful you have to be careful so people who wanted to travel from one point to another now they were in the train station so you want to tell us that they were not careful enough because these are the questions people have been asking and you don't nobody gives you an answer it's happened and those people who did that have not even been arrested today what did we hear? Negotiation, negotiation, negotiation. But they didn't go after them. They didn't go after the people that perpetrated that evil. But now, in the case of uh, this, uh, uh, those, they said they've gotten one of them. And let's see how the rest, uh, the rest things we, we follow. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and know what you think that could be the possible uh, solution to all these problems.